cool shark's teeth. One of my customers just found a two inch shark's tooth the other day. And she oh, said, wow. pictures because she's been on the hunt for one of those big boys. Well, she found it. Boy, two inches. Oh, oh gosh. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember when my husband was growing up, he would go to Scientist Cliffs and he had a whole big jar of shark's teeth from Scientist Cliffs in the, in the uh, near the Chesapeake Bay. And, uh, oh, wow. I, it was not something I ever wanted to really look at. It was a whole <laughs> thing. But I thought, oh my gosh, all those sharks out there. But two inches is pretty good. That's got to be a record of some kind for sure. So, and the tax rate down there is pretty, uh, makes it pretty affordable and... Uh, Oh my gosh, yes. Every, the thing is, like, people fall in love with Punta Gorda because it's like you get that same si siesta key feel, um, except on a budget. You know, we're a lot more price conscious. And like I said, the downtown is just absolutely phenomenal. We're considerably smaller than siesta key, but at the same time, the, like I said, the downtown is just unparalleled. So what about access to the beach from Punta Gorda? What, you know, cause like Siesta Key, you really could get right there and walk out onto the beach. What about Punta Gorda? How far do you have to go to get to a beach? We don't really have too much beach beach. When you think of Punta Gorda, we're all on the waterfront. I mean, there is water access. We're more of a water aficionado destination just because you want to sit on the water and enjoy the water but otherwise we don't really have too much beach down there we do have the Ponce de Leon Park which is a fantastic place to put your boat in and everything is waterfront over there there's a little bit of beach but ultimately when you're thinking about like downtowns that are on the water and everything like that that's why people love Punta Gorda. So would you have to, if you wanted to go to the beach, like go to Siesta Key for the day or something like that, would you, is it better to probably Uber since parking might be a challenge or um, how far is it from Punta Gorda to get to like Siesta Key? We're about 45 minutes. So that's not a terrible Uber trip by any stretch of the imagination. I'd picture it costing about 50 to 65 bucks, depending on the time mm -hmm. or the season, which when you split that with you know, two or three other people, it winds up being very cost effective because you're going to yeah. spend some time in gas anyways. But otherwise, we've also got Englewood Beach, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then, like I mentioned as well, Casperson and Venice Beaches. So that sounds like, well, you can't get away from the beach unless you're right in the middle of the state, for sure. Um, right. You can just enjoy Siesta Key. But uh, I remember um, one, well, one of my high school classmates moved down there and every New Year's Eve, he has a party on the beach and he says, anybody who went to high school with us, come on down and we'll, we'll have a party on the beach. Welcome <laughs> the new year. <laughs> and so I never forgot that, but I haven't yet, I have never been during that time frame. but uh, at any rate, it, it, it's just a nice place to be. And so St. Armand's Circle for people who don't know exactly what that is it's where the upscale shopping is and it literally is walkable for sure yes. tell us a little bit about that oh my gosh the St. Ermin Circle has a bunch and when I say a bunch I mean so so many mom and pop places and the fact of the matter is they are all extremely high end we've also got ice cream and that's one of my very favorites I oh, love we ate, yeah we had ice cream there I remember it <laughs> oh my gosh did you get to go to Kilwins or Ben and Jerry's Oh, no, Kilwins. Yeah. Oh, Kilwins. They're my absolute favorite. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. No offense to Ben and Jerry, but, you know, Kilwins is, like, worth it. Worth it. Absolutely. Oh, for yeah. Sure. For sure. So what else do you want to chat about that you want people to remember about why they should move to Siesta, Sarasota, Venice, Punta Gorda? Well, I really want to help people relax. That is my absolute favorite thing to do. And so if you're getting cold or if you're feeling a little congested, especially since we've got, you know, this COVID and everything, we've kind of switched gears down here. And what we've started to do, which I've always done for my out-of-town clients, but what we're doing more and more on a local basis is we can actually do YouTube tours of different areas, different properties, that kind of fun thing. So if somebody were to say, hey, Carrie, I'm considering, you know, buying a condo or something down here, the, this is what I like. This is what I want to do. I want to be five minutes from, you know, a dock or I want a dock in my backyard so I can have my boat and just go out fishing whenever. 
you know, what do you have for me? And can you take a video of it? And I'll say, absolutely. You know, I think that's great to have anyway. It saves the plane fare and the back and forth. And, you know, I always tell people, try to stay in the spot that you want to be in for a while. Don't just go for a long weekend, but try to stay and have time. But it, it really helps if you can pre-screen, so to speak, uh, and see, oh, you know what? I've it, Carrie's got three places that I think I'm going to really want to to see and you can see them up front now do you have a youtube channel as well so people can uh, come on to your youtube channel or do you do these like more customized tours? i sure do i do the or I, mean, I apologize i've got the broker princess on youtube and then southwest florida it's swfl realtor princess on instagram oh great those are two great uh connections for us then um so why don't you uh since we're winding up uh any last words but then also give your website and the youtube and the instagram and um an email address so that people can well i'm i may have to ask you to send me some punta gorda stuff because this sounds really interesting i i'm so in love with sarasota but uh, punta gorda sounds like a good second choice but give all this information again just so people have it and you know speak slowly so they can write it down and um thanks so much for joining me on the show it's been awesome oh it's been my pleasure i've loved every second of it if you have any questions whatsoever my name is carrie woolbanks and my email is just my first name period last name so it's carrie k-a-r-i period Wilbanks w-i-l b as in boy a-n-k-s at gmail.com my phone number, which is my cell phone number, so you can call me, text me, send a smoke signal or a carrier pigeon, is <laughs> 941-587-0428. Awesome. And then check out on YouTube. And you can, I like the fact that you're willing to uh, do the virtual tours for people so they don't have to spend so much time flying around. I still believe firmly, though, that people should actually go there and stay yeah. there. For a, a minimum of a week, um, preferably longer, you can get an Airbnb if you have to. But mm -hmm. the thing is, you want to stay there and really get the, the lifestyle down and Absolutely. figure out. Because it sounds to me, from what you're talking about, Carrie, that um, Siesta Key and Sarasota, downtown Sarasota, is going to be very different from the Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte area. And both of them you know, are great, but you have to taste it and try it on to see if it's where you want to live your life. Uh, you're not going just for vacation. This is to buy something to stay put and retire. So you want to make sure you think all the things through. So sounds like Carrie's going to be the right person to talk to, uh, to get more information. And I do so appreciate your taking time out of your busy schedule to um, be with us today. And I hope, uh, Hope you all call Carrie because she's got the insider track on Sarasota and Siesta Key and uh, maybe she'll drive you around and you don't have to pay for the gasoline. Who knows? Hey, I've, got you, I've got you covered and I've got a glass of wine or a margarita waiting. Oh, a margarita for me, please. Yes. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much, Carrie, for joining me today. I appreciate it very much. It's been my pleasure. Thank you so, so much, Debbie.